Hello, welcome back to the channel. Notion's new update is here and it is amazing. Let's go through it. So they've introduced Notion Calendar and it's time. All of your commitments now in one place meet the beautifully designed, fully integrated calendar for your work and life. I'm gonna be using my headquarters template in this video. If you haven't seen it, link in the description, but look at this, whether you're using headquarters or not, you will see this next to your calendar in Notion. And I haven't clicked this yet on this account. I've clicked it on my personal account, but let's click this, open in calendar. You will have to first set up a few different things. First, we're going to have to sign in to our Google account and welcome to Notion Calendar. Now inside of Notion Calendar on the side here, you should see your task list. So here we have my task list. If I click that, then you can see the tasks appear here. So in Notion here, I've just added some fake tasks, write assignment, run, book plane tickets and hike with Jerry. The nightmare's over, Jerry. We're going back to work. You're not gonna need this anymore. And as you can see, they appear here. Now, if you have watched any one of my videos, you know that I love time blocking. And the beautiful thing is, you can now time block with these. So what I'll do is, I'll just stretch these out like this. Let's say we're writing the assignment in the morning from 9.15 to 11.15. Then, okay, I cannot run for that long. Let's say 11.15 to 12.15. After that, we're booking plane tickets. So here you can see we can now literally use the tasks from Notion in here. And then the cool thing is if we go back, you can see it's added the time in here straight into our calendar in Notion. This is absolutely insane and I love it. Now, one thing to bear in mind, look, we have write assignment and then run. If we go back in here, let's change this order to run being first and then write assignment. So now if we go back, you can see run appears first and then write assignment. It literally reorganizes it in Notion. This was an issue before in Notion and they now have fixed it and I love it, it's just the best. So if we drag write assignment onto Friday, as you can see, it literally jumps over to the next day. And here again, we can change the time. So now if we add hike with Jerry, we can stretch that out and do this. So that's the first function. You can do time blocking in Notion Calendar and it literally integrates with your Notion database. So if you're using headquarters, all of your stuff is, I'll just show you, in this thing called my task list. So pretty much all of these, this is my task list, this is my task list, this is my task list. Everything is in my task list, which makes this very easy for Notion Calendar because all you have to do is turn on this one database. However, if you have a different template or you have made your own and you have a bunch of different ones, I'll just show you what to do. So I'll just add another database in here, forward slash calendar, calendar view, and we'll just do new database. I'll just call it example vid. And then in here we can add stuff, example here. So if you now want this stuff to show up, so this could be your other calendar, for example, with fitness or whatever you've decided to separate and not having the same calendar as your tasks. If you want both of these to show up in your Notion calendar, you can do that. What we're going to do down here is click on the three dots. And here you're going to click on add Notion database. And then in here we can search for that database. So I called it Exampli Vid, I think. Okay, yes I did, that was a terrible name. So if I click on that, as you can see, calendar has been added. So now you can see the example task shows up here. So now I can drag this again and show it here. So there's a few more steps if you have everything in separate databases, but if you have everything in the one database, it makes it just a bit easier. As I know, it will be a lot of people's first question. If you add an item and then we use one of our templates, so let's say weekly review, and then in here we have our weekly review, then what we can do is click here on the date property and show include time. And now in here, if we change this to let's say 8 a.m., click away. Then if we go back to our calendar, you can see here weekly review shows up at 8 a.m. So what you could do is automate your time blocking. So let's do the journal entry, right click on this and repeat. Let's say we do it every single day and then we can select the time that we want it to be created. So let's say 7 a.m. Hit save and now it's going to automatically tomorrow show up here at 7 a.m. for me in my calendar. But I can't bother waiting till tomorrow. So what I'll do is show you with this weekly review. If we click on that, what you can do, so the, the journal or the run or whatever comes up, you can click on the event and then click on open in Notion. Once I do that, it opens up straight in Notion. So here I can do my weekly review. So now we're actually spending our time working inside of this calendar. For people who like time blocking, uh, time boxing, scheduling, whatever you wanna call it, this is fantastic. Now, for those of you who have used Calendly or uh, similar apps, there is this amazing feature called Share Snippet. 
So I'll show you how that works. We'll click on that. And what you can do, you can actually draw in available times. So I'll just draw in like this. Now, as you can see, it automatically starts writing out for me here at the top and adds to the list when I'm available. And we can create a scheduling link. So we click on that and now we have this paragraph. We can copy this to clipboard. We can copy this snippet, which is really useful. And then all we do is create. So now these times here can be booked in once we share someone that link. It's very similar to Calendly, but it's awesome because it integrates with our Notion system. Notion really is becoming the all-in-one planning tool. It is fantastic for notes. It's fantastic for resources. It is fantastic for our to-do list. It is an amazing calendar. It is everything that we need in a planning tool. Another feature they have is you can see your schedule at a glance. So basically in your menu bar, you can see what you're meant to be doing. This is what it looks like when you share that link with someone. So it's very similar to Calendly or like if you were to book a dentist appointment, all of them look quite similar. It's a fantastic user interface. So I love that they have this. Another awesome feature is you can see different time zones. So when you're scheduling with other people, you can show it actually aligns with them. They have a bunch of different languages. Another thing to mention, you can see it in a week, a day view, a month view. This bar here, by the way, is the time. So you can see where you are throughout the day. And lastly, the big question, does it integrate with Google Calendar? Yes, it does. Let's open up Google Calendar. So I'll add something here on the Friday, subscribe to Notion setups. I can select the time, let's say 11 a.m. and hit save. You can see it's been added in here. Now it is overlapping with this hike with Jerry. Damn it, Jerry. Sorry. So what I can do is just move hike with Jerry down here after I've subscribed to this channel. So for everyone who's been wondering, how can I integrate my Google Calendar with Notion? Now you can. One thing to bear in mind, this is not a two-way sync. So write assignment will not appear in my Google Calendar, but the things I add to my Google Calendar will appear in here. Now, whilst watching this video, if you thought, hey, this headquarters template looks kind of cool, watch this video here where I do a full walkthrough of the template, which helps you stay organized, productive, and motivated. Thank you again for watching and subscribe.